Hello and welcome back. This little video is on scratch building your very own Model 10 shed. This one happens to be in scale, but it would be the exact same any scale that you happen to be working. Well, you got to have some bits of wood and you got to have some kind of glue. I personally like Elmer's glue, it works really good. And then what you have to do, well, you got to draw up some plans. All buildings have to have drawings to build it from. And the way I figured out how to do this is I literally just walked down the street. They were building a garage right down the street. I looked at what they did and made some notes and scribbled some stuff down. Now, the way that I like to build these things is right on the blueprints. Use a little bit of double-sided tape. And anytime you're working with repetitive, accurate woodcuts, there is nothing better than the Chopper 2 from Northwest Short Line. I use it all the time. Okay, so now I got all these little bits and pieces ready to go. It's time to start putting stuff together. I've already put the double-sided tape down and I cut all these bits and pieces for the correct lengths and you just glue them together. Make sure that you have this double-sided tape anywhere that there's going to be any glue involved. It'll keep it from sticking. And when you move it off of this double-sided tape, be very gentle and very careful with it. They're not very strong yet and the glue isn't real dry yet so just be really careful as you take them off of the blueprints and then you end up with a whole bunch of bits and pieces ready to go together now you'll notice that I'm using a sewing mat here you want to make sure that your building is square and plumb you want to make sure that all the sides are in the right place and then you start adding the roof joists now if I had it to do again I would make about half as many or maybe one-third as many I just physically had so many of them now it made it strong but it was just a whole lot of work and here's your basic structure from here well of course if it's going to be a tin shed you got to have tin and I just happen to have some of this corrugated tin laying around you want to cut the pieces at about the right shape and size and don't have any two of them exactly the same so as it goes together it looks like it's been well put together for you now the doors I could have made them closed, but I decided I wanted individual doors that were partially open. It makes it look more lived in. It makes it look like somebody's actually been around and doing something with it. So here's the finished tin shed. The whole thing, including the weathering, which I kind of like the weathering in this one, took about two hours total, and it came out really great. If you want to try a project that is really easy, it takes a bit of time, a bit of thought, but why don't you build your own tin shed? Look around. See how many tin sheds there are in your particular area. They're all over the place. Well, thanks for joining us today. Come back and see me again sometime. Bye now.